welcome watchers welcome to a, another video another episode and a new series um, today we are back playing kingdoms reborn and as you can see on the channel um, I have had a lot of requests to ask where kingdoms reborn is um, so I've decided to bring it back we're gonna start again uh, I'm gonna scrap episode one and two we're gonna start again a new series and follow this around it is the beginner series I'm still gonna call it the beginner series um, I've had a lot of speaking to uh, the developer of Kingdoms Reborn in the last month or so um, and there has been loads of updates as well along with that so further ado let's play the new series. I am hyped for this series so let's call it Hype. Hype new series. So let's lob that down there. We're going to play with eight players. Um, so let's just generate uh, that and see where we go. Right, the world is ready so let's go and choose a location. Um, if you've never seen this game, um, it is new, it's still early access, it is actually available now. Um, and I would imagine a lot of people are playing it. It's a bit of uh, banish and loads of bits, loads of games into one if you like. Um, but it has actually have a card system. Right, so we've got a player over there. Um, I'm thinking about putting it down here. Now there's not a lot of coal area down here. But there is down this bottom. This looks quite a nice area. Um there yes we're gonna go there so straight in leave it on general just so we uh, can do it like that so this is our area here not a big area at the moment but we will extend that so let's just put down the town hall R to rotate um, and we're gonna put the town hall as far there as we can so then obviously you're left with choosing a card so I'm going to go with wheat seeds or do I go with investment no I, money's never been that much of an issue in this game so uh, cabbage seeds iron smelter again we could do with an iron smelter but really I'm going to go with production you'll see why as we go later on in the game um, we need one of them you need one of them and one of them so we'll take them cards with us so we have the town hall here this is where you will actually start the game and where everything actually starts from um, so let's put some pathing system in they actually walk 15 to 20 percent more quicker on paths than they would do on grass itself so we're just gonna do a quick path system so that's going to be built we're going to actually get them to get we're going to gather non fruit trees um, so I don't want them actually grabbing any fruit trees but they can get stone and stuff but everything else they can get apart from no fruit trees uh, as you can see on the left hand side you've got early spring um, this is your celsius obviously your temperature on here is the population that you've got um, so we currently got 14 adults and 6 children so that's a population of 20 people here you've got the population of housing spaces between that and the population that you actually have someone has just dropped a chavy um, and then you've got the storage slot so we're using 9 slots out of 12 later on you will become there's a lot of storage but you can upgrade them to warehouses um, so hopefully we get to that area and I'll be able to show you here you've got the happiness of your town if you like um, and then you have the coins the money that you're making we're making 18 at the moment so we're making money so that's the main important thing here you've got your wood so this is the amount of wood that you are holding at the time this is your medicine now the medicine is needed to when you get into the winter um, you will find that your inhabitants your civilians whatever you want to call them will get sick especially in the winter so this is something that later on you can actually plant seeds to actually help with that um, you've got 166 steel tools obviously they need tools to do the job stone mining and so on 
Um, and here, that's how much stone you're currently holding. So we're holding 120. And then you've got your food storage that's underneath. Again, you've got luxury tiers. So luxury tier, beer, cannabis, furniture and pottery is tier 1. Tier 2 is clothes, wine, chocolate and candles. And number 3 is actually book, fashionable clothes and jewellery. Right, we do need to get a fishing lodge, so we'll do that now. That's going to be one of the first things that we build, because as you can see, we haven't got any um, food. You've got efficiency, so depending on where you put this, the better the efficiency, the better. That's 118. That's 110, so we'll put a path to that. And obviously down here, we need to start building some houses, so we'll do that straight away. Um, I'm going to have them coming along here. So we've got one house, two house, and I think it holds um, four four inhabitants per 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 house. Actually, I might have to delete that, but it's too late now. It's not levelled. We have to sit back a little bit. Um, right, so we definitely need some food, so let's get the hunting lodge sorted. As you can see, the hunting lodge has got a blue circle around it. This is your diameter of where they can actually kill. So your best bet is sticking it right in the middle. And what we're going to do is we're going to click that. Someone's working on it already, as you can see. So hopefully that will be done pretty quick, because obviously food is needed. get rid of the wheat seeds so we've unlocked the farm so we can actually start doing the farm now um, a fruit gatherer obviously is needed as well so we'll stick that in as well again it's the same principle as the hunting lodge um, so what we actually do is we'll put it this side because we've got more plants around there so the first house is built as you can see here um, let me just go round. So we've got the first house building. We're going to build houses all the way down here. This you can buy land by obviously doing that and paying money. So now we've extended our boundaries. We get that. That's going to be building. The hunting lodge is going to be going up. So then we've actually can make actually some food. Um, we've got to choose research now. Medicine herbal seeds are straight off on one, but we're not actually going to do that. I, what I want to do is improve log cutting. Um, right, so there's two people working here, so you click you can click on it or you can actually go to your town hall and decide to leave it on auto. There's three builders or seven labourers. We can manually change how many people that we want to run. So I'm gonna put manual for builder and I'll run the building. Labourers, any spare ones will automatically go there as long as this is filled up. So I could say, well, I I want six labourers, but I want two builders. That will change once they finish doing their job they're doing. Or you can alter it. To be honest, actually, I'm going to leave that at two. I'm going to put that down to six. Because we need to build. Right, so we've got three houses here. This is... Um, time that has gone straight up to um, next level as you can see we can upgrade timber management and so on um, so the forester I know it's in between them um, but what we can do with this is we can upgrade it if we want we cut and plant or prioritize planting so I'm gonna cut and plant because we want actual we can upgrade that but we obviously want some trees because we're using them by cutting them down using the wood. Um, right, so at this moment in time we've got 8 housing space but we've got 22 people so we do need to put more houses down. So we'll do that now. Uh, mushroom farm, we'll have one of them. And we'll have a pig launch, uh, ranch. So we get the food sorted out, so that we can have the food source in this area down here. Storage is full, so we've got 12 out of 12 spaces, so we haven't got any more room for storage. 
So let's build more storage on that button there and onto here. They will walk straight across storage, you do not need to put paths in between them. We're getting some more fish in, so now we've got quite a selection of food. We've got 49 papaya, we've got 23 fish, we've got 21 um, game meat and 18 coconuts. So we do, we're doing well with the um, food at the moment. So that is good, so what I might do is, let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got six labourers and we've got two builders going on. So if we've got any spare without reducing the labour, because we still need labourers, um, but without reducing that, if we get any more immigrants in, they will go straight to the party of what I've left. Um, but we do need to concentrate on getting the housing space done. Um, we're in mid-summer, so that's something that does need to be done. Um, we have some farm. As you can see on these tiles, you, you get the fertility, so this is 68%. The greener, the better. Red is worse, so it's not too great around this area for actual plants and farms. We're going to build one anyway because we need to. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nice path along there and there. And this can be actual more houses. should hopefully fit quite nicely. There you go. We've still got... Um, let's just make sure that it's doing it. Yeah, there's still some more trees to take. So we're in early autumn. Obviously they're going to use coal. Um, we haven't got any coal yet, so they're going to use wood to heat. Now obviously that's something that we do need to get on top of. Um, so I'm going to stop the building process very soon. We haven't got enough population housing space in. So um, just hope for the best to be honest. Um, we've got food. We've got 130 stone. We should be okay. I get rid of them trees there, so labourers being six, I, I think that will be efficient enough. We've got people up in there, so let's just cut that down to one. Sustainable, so sustainable consumes 40 percent input, so now it only needs five wood to complete mushrooms. And we'll leave by clicking this here. You can associate if you want two people working there or one person. At the moment, because we need the extra people, um, we need to reduce that so that person can actually go somewhere else. So we've got the farm that's being built, that's going to be our fields. We've got a pig launch, but ranch, but it takes an awful lot of space, so we'll keep that there for a minute. We've got two more housing spacing going on. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. So we're going to be one short, so we do need to build another house. Um, let's have a look, see if there's anything there. We've got a forester, fruit gatherer, we've got one of them, quarry and coal mine. Let's have a look, charcoal burner, we can have one of them now. So let's put the charcoal burner. It's probably wise to put it where all the wood's going to go. As you can see, if you've got a red thing around it, they don't like housing, they like being put on their own. So I'm going to put it over here, out of the way from the housing. Right, so obviously you can trade in this game as well. So a caravan has arrived, they wish to buy any goods you might have. At the moment I'm going to refuse because we haven't really got that many goods that we can sell and we don't actually need the money. We're making 54. Um, so the money isn't very critical at the moment. Um, let's actually change 
change it to um, Winchester Wobbles Wobbles Wobbles, yeah that Winchester Wobbles No idea Right, so storage is full up again So we're 18 of 18 So Let's extend this again So we can carry more stuff Right, let's just cancel that Everything's going on at once I can't keep up with it Right, so That's that, so we can extend the storage On there so we can carry more stuff We're doing good on food So we will get through the winter um, Hopefully that gets built quite soon We're on 31 wood So now we just need to concentrate on getting trees we're making 72 so that's going to cost us 50 food or you can use money to do it depending on what way you want to go ideally probably I would want to go left maybe or yeah I suppose right would be the best option there um, it's not a very good place to do seeds nice greeny bit would be better for that but we've got gold there so we're going to claim that so now we can choose that so we're going to do productivity and we're going to put that in the fish area going to upgrade that we've got 370 so we need to have a look to see who we've got, we've got forester here that hasn't got anyone in it so that's available, we've got the hunting lodge that's got one person in it and then the fruit gatherer so we cancel the fruit gatherer go back to our town and manual we need seven people collecting stuff and we cancel that down to two builders because it's the winter we can have one or two builders but we do need labourers they need to be getting some of the stuff for us um, the housing we've got 28 housing spaces and 25 population so we're just right in there but we do need some coal we've got 46 so I need two people in here actually producing coal for us otherwise they will get quiet if there isn't any coal then they will automatically use wood we're collecting wood now so that's good um, needs to be concentrated with wood so trees and wood because we've got food I'm just going to cut down all the trees here just to make sure that we do get through the winter stage of it so let's just cut all that down we've got a farm that will be obviously not in winter it won't be used um, we're going to have uh, we've got a charcoal burner fishing mushroom no, we don't need any of that at the moment. Fruit gatherer, coal mined. No, we don't need none of that. Right, so the winter's winter's here. Um, we've got another productive card, so I'm going to put that in there. So that obviously gives you 20% extra. We need that. 10 wood creates 12 coal. Um, We've got 20 there, we've got wood, we're getting wood because obviously in the winter you don't need to build so that can actually become naught. So basically how I do this game is I don't build nothing in the winter. The winter is all about the labourers still getting wood, making sure that obviously no one dies. It is mid-winter, we're on minus 10. Um, so we just need to concentrate on getting wood and so on gonna carry on building this through to here right let's will that not no Right, how are we doing with storage? Storage, we are nearly full up again. Um, and you, you need to think with storage because you can put them all over the place. So, 
you know, and it's not until later on that you actually go and upgrade in the warehouse. I will do that on a separate video so you can see how you upgrade the warehouses. Um, it is all done on this, so so you've got error 2, error 1, error 3 and error 4. Building logistics office, so that's where you can obviously upgrade a lot of stuff due to that. Got tunnel, um, there's some theatres, there's bank, knights, barracks, extra house income, um, and as you go all the way to the end. There is obviously more, it is obviously early access, so... Um, but yes, I will let you know about that house level one. So obviously you've got house upgrades that unlock. So if we go through here, once we get to, uh, let's just see if I can find it. You've got shrubbery now, um, stone roads, fault, cotton mill, flower bed, somewhere here. And I can't see it at the moment. Uh, hang on, let's just see if I can get it. I can't see it at the moment. I think you need the logistics thing. Um, but yeah, you can you can get warehouses. So um, we'll have a look at that when we get to that sort of stage. Um, we will probably need that. Right, plus 74. Again, I'm going to leave these here. I don't need to plant now. There is no point in doing it. Um, again, the builders, we haven't got any because we're in winter. Just need to make sure that we produce that. And obviously in the summer that will carry on. So, um, so we, you know, we we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, pick ranch, forester, coal mined. Might take the coal mined. Because when we get down to around here, there's a coal mined here. Um, right, so we've got the storage. What I might do now is build some more housing. So you've got, obviously, when you place houses, you'll see that there's an appeal status. When I get here, it will be a hundred percent appeal because it's next to something that's like an attraction sort of thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to build houses along this bit. Stone is going to go over that side. I'm going to run it all the way along there, and then this is going to be storage. All the way along that is going to be storage. Excellent. Right, so now we have got to this, we can actually assign builders because now we need them. Right, so now we can actually start building. They're going to start building. No, they're not, but they will be very soon once I get it done. We do need some more players in this. We're all over it. Your labour count is now null. Every citizen is employed in a building. There is no free labourers left to haul or gather resources full time. This can cause logistics issues, resulting in production slowdown. To increase your labour count, either expel workers from buildings or manually set the labour count. So there's two ways of doing this. You can do it from where I've been showing you here, or literally go to a building where there's two people in it and get one, get rid of one. That will become a labourer. There's one person there, one person there, um, and there's eight builders. So we don't need eight builders. Four, four builders. Uh, three builders and then uh, four. We do it with four and then you've got five labourers. So they can still actually get resources. Because we've still got resources to do around here. 
So we're building some more houses, so that's good. That's going to be a lovely little area for storage. We've got a little uh, farm going. We're collecting it. We've got a big stock area here. Um, so, th so the population now is actually 17 adults and 18 children. That equivalents to 25. Um, so that's good. Um, and obviously this here science is used for research and intelligence per round. So ours is plus 14, so that is good as well. Um, the best thing to do in these games is do it slowly. There's no point rushing and doing everything all at once. You need to take your time and plan stuff on what you, where you want stuff. Um, as, you, as you can see, we just get rid of that. Um, as you can see, our food is doing well. We've got enough food to carry on. So to get obviously these houses here into tier one, we need either beer, cannabis, furniture, or pottery. Pottery can only go by rivers, um, and I don't think we will get it because we haven't unlocked some of the stuff. Next one will be medicine, herbal seed, so we can actually start some medicine. Uh, unlocked furniture shop, so there we go. Now, obviously, this is increasing the amount of wood that we need. Um, again, it's got the red thing around it, so it doesn't do tend to do really well next to houses. So what we do is we just put it next to this one. We go along there. From there, we're going to go along here. and eventually we shall put that into there. Um, as you can see on the right here you've got Questy, so we've just completed 500 fish. Reward, we've got cooperate, uh, Cooperative Fishing. Um, unlocked Potter Card, would you like to buy a Potter Card for 80? Now you can buy it, I'm going to refuse it. Clay Pit, yep yeah, we could do but we're not going to yet. I think it's too early to actually do that yet because we get them in one of these anyway, so... Um, they always come up. Uh, Fisher in. Let's have a look. Potter. There it is there. They're, they're always up there anyway if you need them. Um, the quicker we do that, the quicker we get the furniture and the pottery, obviously that will unlock tier 1 for us. So, the pottery and furniture are in there how you know how many you need per one will be this so here you need four here you need three here you need four okay so I need to unlock four of these to get to the next one um, but here I need three so I'll do medical and then I'll do mug mushroom <coughs> then I'll move on so yeah, that, that that would be for another day, obviously, till we get there. Hopefully we don't lose. I mean, we've got 36 housing spaces now, so we're doing well with houses. Don't need any more houses. Um, we've got quite a few. We've got storage of plenty. Now these are done. So we've got loads of storage. We've got a little farm going on that's going to add to the collection of food that we've got. Um, we've got a hunting lodge that sometimes you can cancel, if you like, and demolish it. Um, I'm looking to obviously take this so th th this is basically I'm going to keep going along here until I've taken it and then the last one will be this bit here but it's 108 food at the moment I've got enough space so I don't need to do that so I'm not going to it's easy to think that oh yeah we'll get more space more space but I'm, we're doing alright at the moment so let, let's just zoom it up a little bit We're in midsummer. We're going to cut that down on that. We need people collecting wood because it will use an awful lot of wood. It uses 10 to produce 10 chairs. Um, and then, obviously, once the chairs are produced, it will come up here. Again, you can upgrade the stone insulation as well. Um, so, level 2 house is already done. As you can see, that is the level 2 house there. And it's because they've got chairs. So, 
as you can see it needs two types of luxury tier one to increase the level so if we gave it chairs and pottery that would come up you can gain building combo by constructing multiple buildings of the same type level one two the same type five percent deposit uh, pro productivity and so on uh, we don't need any of that at the moment we're doing quite well we've got enough we don't need to go any higher what we do need is some more trees though. So I don't think we actually have any. No. Let's make sure that they're actually... So we're planting non-fruit trees. Research done. So that's done. So we will start unloading medical herbs. So it's 16 minutes for that to be done. We've got three cards waiting here. We've done that. We're right with a housing space, we're right with storage. We're making 87. We've got some wood coming in, but the wood is going to be a bit of a problem. So what we need to do is to find a cheap alternative. So that would be 379 for that tree. Here would be 108 food. We do that, and we just get all trees because we need the wood. We've got enough food, so we don't need to worry about the fruit inside of it at the moment. So that's the labourers going there to get the wood. We've got, we need wood again. We've got coal. We're doing well with the coal. They wish to buy any goods you might have. At the moment, I haven't got any goods that we have loads in stock, so I'll refuse that. For you immigrants, yet yeah, we'll accept them. You can't help but notice the wild smile that spreads across an immigrant child as she enters her promised land. A land of love. A land of reward. Until she comes here and then realises it isn't what she thought it was. We're producing the fish well. As you can see, we've got loads of fish. We've got 185 uh, mushroom. We've got 400, nearly 500 fish. getting the houses upgraded so that is good there's a plenty of coal we're making 102 because obviously the, the increase of the houses to level 2 has obviously made them pay more we've got four cards here that we uh, are waiting uh, we've got a clay pit that well right, we, we buy the clay pit so let's put the clay pit needs to be built near a river so it's probably best actually being built around this area if it can it does prefer a river situation anywhere here would probably be good for that but at the moment I don't think we can do that because because this is classed as the ocean I wonder even though it is a river but next to a river so we might need to do a little bridge and get this put over here no don't need a library card been upgraded to level two so we've got steel here and we've got coal deposits so how much how much are we actually making uh we've got six five one so if i took this 75 food is probably our best option there Reached hand limit of cards bought. Um, please sell or use some of your cards. Right. Yeah, we'll sell that one. Cool. I'd say this is all you can actually reach here, so um, we're going to have to start using some of them. Right, so we've got some wood down here, so let's collect the wood that's around this area. Got 18 labourers. Right, 
got a lot of labourers. So I said we're getting a lot of coal, a lot of woods going in as well. Um, we'll get that down very soon. Is there a lot of animals around this area? Doesn't look it around that area. What about around here? Yeah, there's quite a few here, so we can stick that on there. The path is just going to keep coming along. And what we're going to do is we're going to have some storage here. Right, and what this is going to be, this is only going to accept, you can manage the storage. And all this is going to do is have game meat. Game meat allowed only. So if I click this. That. Game meat. Right, so we'll do the mushroom one. You unlocked herbal seeds. So we've got through that winter. So this is year two now. We're in early spring. Um, so this now we need to concentrate on building up the coal that we're doing quite well of. We've got the furniture. We've got 30 in stock. So technically this could actually be paused for now. Because every single house that we have at the moment is level two. So they've all had their furniture we've got 40 so we can actually technically sell them if we wanted to um, we're going to pass this we're going to pass the might have the tavern but again not now we have the library card no nope. right so if we put into the fishing here we put fishing in here this is cooperative fishing so it's 10% fish production when there are two or more lodges so if I bought um, a fishing lodge, just for instance, maybe put a fishing lodge down here. That will actually help with, I'll get 10% extra production. Um, I want to put the clay pit round here but at the moment we're chopping the trees down because we're getting some really good wood we've got loads of food we've got the leather from obviously the animals that have been killed this is going to be wood game meat and leather from the animals only um, so that that will be brilliant again we don't need two people so one person is more than efficient for that once that is done we're going to put productivity into that again we've got herbal seeds we can unlock that so we can actually start building here unless there's a better place for the farm not round here as such again it's not brilliant there but that's going to have to do for the time being so we play herbal and then obviously we've got wheat we've got all level 2 tier house We've got 36 housing spaces and we've got 32 population. Again, we don't need to build any houses, so we don't need to lose anything on that. We've got a lot of labourers, we've got coal that's going well. Um, so when the winter comes, I will probably stop producing coal because I think that's enough. We've got 90 medicine, so that's something that we do need to step on a little bit. We've got a quarry here that needs to be done. Coal mine, again, we will need a coal mine, but at the moment it's nothing that is desperately needed, so... Pig ranch, we do need to have. So, cannot be built on a desert. There's a lot of things like that can't be built on a desert. The problem is that there's such a big item trying to find the right place for it. It's a nightmare. Um what it going down uh right, what's the oh There you go. 
just built in. Right, so they'll start building that, then we can start getting some pigs in and, and getting more food. Right, let's see if we need anything. We're plus 122 on the money, so... Uh, let's pass this one. Got a library, we've got furniture shop. At the moment... We need a clay pit, but we could do with probably one more of them. We'll keep a clay pit, because now we can actually keep it in there. Um, there's some ones over there. There's some around here that we could get. So we're going to build that there, and then obviously we'll end up buying this if we needed to. Right, Winchester Wobbles is doing really well. Alright guys, well I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there because I think that's quite a nice place to sit. We're in early autumn, so before we get through the next winter, um we've got some more preparation to do, we've got some more other stuff to do. Um I need to build a clay pit, we need to get these up to another tier. Um but at the moment everything is quite running quite sp smoothly. That obviously changes in this game. Um but at the moment it's done it's doing quite well. Um it's 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 forty minutes long this one, but I will try and do it as like every thirty minutes and now obviously I won't delete the series or anything like that. Um as I say, I hope that's been okay for you. I know that I've had a lot of people message me about getting this series, so it is back. I will try and do it every other day, I upload for it. Um but until next time guys, thank you very much. Um please subscribe. If you like the channel there is loads of different sort of games and content on here new games old games and so on um please like the video until next time guys i shall see you in another game see you later